hi guys welcome back to this african perspective thank you for stopping by okay so the videos we're going to be checking out today are videos about how those people are trying to get paid time off from work some people are trying to take sick days and so many you know time off from work for different reasons and then they get rejected and told no we're not giving you you get you get denied because you know definitely you have to you know tell your manager that hey i'm about to i'm taking this time off and then get the night why because they can decide that is why you're asking them to begin with but you know many people are giving rants on this but before we get right into this video please make sure you click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here clicking the like button really helps with the algorithm and i appreciate that so much let's get right into it do you know how silly it feels as a manager to get a request from another grown adult to take some time off of work and then have to click a button that says approve like oh you want to go to your grandma's funeral in florida and hang out with your parents for a week, I'm gonna need to approve that first. I don't even look at the time frames when I get PTO requests. It's all bulk approve, just bulk approve everything. If anyone watching this works at Paycom or ADP or whatever other HR suite, we need your help changing this language. Let's get away from request and approve. It's just a notification. At my job right now, they're doing a seven day mandate and they have been for about two and a half months. So that's eight hours every day you have to be there. Um, and, uh, you know, some high schoolers work there. They work the second shift. You know, they work like 3 to 11. And uh, obviously, that's probably really hard. <laughs> I can't imagine going to high school on top of this shit. But um, this kid uh, asked for work off. He's like, hey, can I have work off? Like, not, not paid time, none of that. But just, like, he needs a day off because his graduation is coming up. And, uh, yeah, they denied him. They're like, sorry, you're not hired in yet. So you don't have PTO. So you can't take any time off. And he's like... I'm literally like graduating high school. I just want to go to my graduation. And they're like, sorry, you can't, you can't take a day off. And I just wanted to put that on TikTok because, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe it'll go viral or something and we can have a larger conversation. The state of work in America is fucked. It's fucked. It's so fucking bad. Like to mandate seven days a week for like months on end and then give all your employees like five days of pto and then go you can't take any time off otherwise is so fucked up dude it's so bad and it's like i've i've i'm almost used to it at this point because i'm just like in it but like it's not good dude and i don't know dude this shit sucks dog but i'm about to take a nap so that's cool Bitch, ain't nothing gonna stop me from going to Miami on my birthday. Bitch, I'm in my 20s, working a night shift for y'all every weekend. I get off watching everybody come home from the club and living a life. Bitch, I've been here, never calling out. And I request off three months in advance to go on my birthday trip. And y'all going to decline me for one fucking weekend? Y'all can't find nobody to replace me for one weekend? Bitch, I'm most definitely coming down with the flu. Trust. No. Companies are saying that younger employees are starting to call in sick way more than like older employees ever did. And that is costing them a ton of money. American employees reinvent the sick day. This article also mentions the unwillingness to take a sick day in the U.S. is always seen as like a badge of honor. But since the pandemic, they have seen an incredible shift in the amount of people that are taking sick days and how many of those sick days that they're using. And that people are starting to be more willing to use sick days for mental health days. That the way people relate to their jobs is totally shifting and that people do want work-life balance. The other thing that they noted was that younger coworkers usually looked to their older coworkers for like, what is it that they're supposed to do when they are sick? So if they're sick, they still came into work, didn't take a sick day, and now that has shifted dramatically because everyone across all generations is like, screw this, I want a work-life balance. If I have sick time, I'm using it. I need mental health days. I need to take better care of myself because no one else is going to. Why you caught me in this conference room? Well, I'm about to explain everything, and um, we have to use this for my office for the time being. Uh -uh. They renovate mine. If you about to fire me, just do that. You ain't got to do no, all this. No, I'm not. This room ain't even that cute. Why every single conversation that we have, you always and y'all need to, to fix the AC. I've been sweating. Okay, Brian, that's out of my control. They're working. They're remodeling this building. Okay, yes, ma'am. Just can you listen to what I have to tell you? Go ahead. So you put in for um PTO pay time off. I did. For the next two weeks. Yep. Listen, we're critically low. low staff I don't right care now. nothing about we're no very critical. We're very short staffed. I don't you care about critical me, condition, go to the emergency room or something. That ain't got critical, ain't got Brown, nothing to do with me. It's hot. I, I'm not in the mood for this. I am just relaying again, just like I've told you many times in the past. I am just the messenger for this. Okay? I'm about to leave today, so what y'all gonna do? Okay, Brown, well, I need to... What you gonna do? You gonna, I, if you, Because if, of the critical staffing, we are under a critical staffing 
there's a blanket of that over over this Girl, agency right now. Sorry, we, I mean, Cap, see, you making me staff. do Cap. I don't care nothing about no blanket you have plans. I, I don't care nothing about no cover. This was approved. This was approved five months ago, Brown. Things have changed within the, it was approved within the five, five months. Please listen to me again. I, if you have issues at the very end of this conversation, I will let you know. We're going to go on here so I can be quiet. Okay. Well, in, in a nutshell, in short, we're denying you that that time off, Brown. Okay. You can take the week, this first week, since you already have plans to leave. Like you said, tomorrow. I understand that, and I try to fight for you on that end. No, you we're didn't. You lost. You lost the fight. Uh, we are able to. I could have given you no weeks off. You we're listen, able that, to not give that. you this first week off. I understand you made reservations. I understand that you have flights that are booked. You can take this first week off. We don't have staffing for the second can week. Can I say cool? Can I, can I talk? We don't have staffing for the second okay, week. Okay, I understand. I cannot talk. Brown, if, if you have any questions or concerns, you know who you need to reach out to. You need to reach out no, to I'm the, reach the, out the, to you. the corporal. I'm going to reach out to you. Either I'm going to be an employee and take off, or I'm not going to be an employee and take off. Either way, I'm taking off. You get what I'm saying? I, okay, I understand that. So you're if y'all short staffing, y'all better make something work because y'all gonna be even are. shorter. Y'all gonna I be even shorter. Okay, Brown, I understand you're frustrated. If you have any questions or concerns, that sounds like a concern to me. You can you can speak up to the lieutenant on that. I am just a messenger for the you lieutenant. You finna get a home and make a concern Brown, letter. That's what you finna okay. get concerned. Well, that at. has nothing to do with me, Brown. Like I said, you can. Can I, I go? I can set up a meeting with the lieutenant if can that's I, something you would like to do. If I ain't scared of the captain, what you think I'm scared of the lieutenant? For? I never said that you're scared of anybody. I'm just, I'm giving you that opportunity as an employee. Can I go you have equal rights. Would you like a meeting with the lieutenant? I ain't nothing equal over here. Okay, then I'm going to take that as you do not want a meeting no, with the lieutenant. No, I just want to go. Correct? Yes, I want to go. Okay, you can go. You know, some of the people are actually saying, oh, like, um, both of them are not listening to each other or the lady is not actually not paying attention. The one who's recording the video, she's not paying attention to or listening to what she has to say. And it's like, why would you even listen to this kind of thing? Because this is a situation that is very provoking and annoying. Because why would somebody give you a notice like five months, you approved it five months ago, and all of a sudden a day two and you're like, a day before that and uh, the person actually takes their time off from work because you've already approved it they already have their plans together and everything together as to or you know especially when you already have your mind that hey like settled you're not going into work this particular day and then somebody just comes to you and just change it up to, and tell you oh hey you, it's not going to be approved and it's like oh you didn't have you had all this time this month and weeks and months and months you couldn't even tell the person that hey you can't take this particular day off and then all of a sudden you want to say it then and you think that i don't i don't blame her for really not listening to her and just interrupting her while she speak because you should be interrupted you guys had so many times so many months to talk about that or see if if it's actually okay and you're as as long as you already accepted you find a way around it if you guys need if you need somebody to replace the person you know temporarily while she's gone do that don't come and be like hey you can't take it off and it's like at that point i just feel like you are you definitely have something against me and you just want us to have an issue it's either you're trying to micromanage me so badly you're trying to make the workplace so toxic for me so i can be unhappy because that's just what it is one of my coworkers is going on pto this week and whenever someone goes on pto they have to make a pto document that way we know what to work on while they're gone and they don't come back to a literal dumpster fire it's very nice it's very all hands on deck i think that's very sweet this person who made the document i've never really worked with him before so when he sent the document out he was like hey can we meet on zoom to talk about it so we hop on zoom and i'm like hey uh, it's so nice to meet you are you going anywhere fun for pto and this man reacts like i just asked for his social security number he goes how did you know i was going on pto i was I, we're going over your pto document and he goes oh i'm going on a cruise with my girlfriend to the bahamas i was like are you going on a cruise with your girlfriend to the bahamas because it doesn't really sound like you're sure. And I totally get being private and having your limits. But our last in-person meeting, people were literally crying because they were delving into childhood traumas, except me and like three other people. And he was one of the people who was who delved into it. So now I know his deepest, darkest trauma from childhood. So I figured PTO wouldn't be crossing a line. But I was like, okay, you know, we all have our limits. PTO is yours. I get it. I understand. I'll respect it. Then he goes on to say that they're not leaving the boat because they don't have passports. But call me crazy. I think you need a passport to come back from the bahamas right i didn't ask or say anything because i already thought i was prying so i was like hey have fun on vacation and then i talked to my dad about it and my dad's like you definitely need a passport to come back i don't know if he'll be able to come back and i was like you know what we're gonna find out soon enough because if he doesn't come back guess who's doing his work until he does y'all let me tell you how this job just 
Bam! And I don't even give a fuck no more because I already know when my last day gonna be at this job. I should, I'm finna be bucketing. So here we go. I'm off Thursdays and Fridays at the job that I'm currently at, right? So I have 28 hours of PTO. I'm like, well, before I quit, I wanna use my PTO even though most of the time your PTO dead ass gets eaten up in taxes. Like last time I used my PTO, I didn't even see the PTO because it got eaten up in taxes. So I'm like, cool, I'm gonna plan it correctly. I'm a, I'm a put, I'm putting it in two weeks in my head, but I'm not telling them I'm taking two weeks. So I'm off Thursday, Friday. That would be February 8th and 9th. So I use my PTO for the 10th, 11th, 12th, and 3rd, not, not 13th, the 10th, 11th, and 12th, right? I would come back to work on the 13th and I use my PTO for Valentine's Day because me and my bestie are gonna go see Dustin Conrad. So then February 16th is the end of the pay period. So you see how I did that? Yeah, I was just gonna gracefully bow out. Yeah, y'all already knew I was gonna be off Thursday, Friday, and then I was just, I was thinking that he was gonna give me the PTO. So I was gonna be off Saturday, Sunday, Monday, come back Tuesday, be off Wednesday, and then that would be my last day. But no, let me show y'all this. What does that say? Denied, 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 denied. I gotta work today at four, so I'm sure I'm gonna get an explanation. But baby, that was just y'all warning. PTO, prepare the others, cause I won't fucking be there. I will be training at my new job. They really just tried, he really just tried it. I was really trying to do the right thing and leave without giving y'all two weeks, but still get my, you know what, but fuck the PTO. Fuck that shit, you can have it. The hell? And February 14th, that's the concert. So I ain't know what the fuck. I don't give, I don't give a fuck. I wasn't gonna be there no goddamn way. First time I try to use all my PTO and y'all deny it. They better not try to get me in and try to fire me when I come in today on some shit they think I'm trying to use my PTO and quit. But either way, I don't give a damn. I start my new job Thursday. So once they tell me when they need me, it's sayonara to these bitches. I don't even care about their fuck ass goddamn PTO. Bitch, y'all can have that shit. I'm gonna make it back 10 goddamn fold. Denial is a river in Egypt. Prepare the others, I won't be coming. Hello? Yeah, this is your manager calling. I, um, I have you down. You're on my schedule today. Are you in route to work or? Yeah, uh huh. And I'm not in route. No, I request to be off today and tomorrow. Yeah, no, I denied that request. I denied that. Okay. So you thought I was coming in? So I put you on the schedule. <laughs> Hello. Got the schedule mixed up. Ellen Parker, who is a real person at a real job, asked for a mental health day, and her boss's response went viral. She was not sick. She didn't have the flu. She didn't have a cold. Like, no reason that other bosses would consider a legitimate reason to call out of work. She's a web developer and in this really, like, professional space. She has suffered greatly from depression, and she said it definitely inhibits her ability to do her work effectively when it hits. She said it's like trying to work with a broken hand. So she sends out an email to her colleagues, giving them an honest answer as to why she wasn't going to be at work that day. She told them, look, hopefully by next week, I'll be refreshed. I'll be back to my old self 100% by next week. But listen, listen to this. This is what her boss said, okay? Hey, Madeline, I just wanted to personally thank you for sending emails like this. Every time you do, I use it as a reminder of the importance of using sick days for mental health. I can't believe this is not standard practice at all organizations. You are an example to us all and help cut through the stigma so we can all bring our whole selves to work. And just so we're clear, um, I am totally on board with using sick days as mental health days. Unfortunately, what I have been seeing is companies rebranding sick days as wellness days so that people aren't asking for a, asking for a group of sick days and separate mental health days where I think they absolutely should be completely separate because mental health days are a completely separate issue. Mental health days are not when you're necessarily sick with cold or flu or anything like that, but mental health days are meant to help you avoid burnout, which can lead to long-term serious health issues and put you out of work long-term. I've been using a vacation time as an escape from your life. I used to do this all the time, all the time. Corporate America loves when you hate your job so much, you just burn out and you just feel like you have to have to get any type of time off that you can. You look at your saved banked PTO hours and you're like, okay, now's the time to do it. You ignore all of your responsibilities. You're like, oh, this is next month's problem, not this month's problem. Or like, 
yeah, when I come back, I'm gonna be super refreshed and everything's just gonna feel so much better. It never does. Literally, one of my like improvement plans, I don't even know, it wasn't like performance improvement related. It was just like me telling executive leadership that I hated this role. And they were like, well, you have a lot of saved PTO hours because I couldn't take time off ever because my client load was crazy. They were like, you have a lot of saved PTO hours. Why don't you go take like a week off and then come back and we can readdress these things. And my global self, believe that i was like when i come back everything's gonna be so much better i'm gonna have such a different mindset no i came back and within the first two hours i had to go into a client meeting we had to go over everything that i missed since i had been gone and then i had a giant new workload that i was supposed to complete before the end of the day because i had been gone for like two weeks and it was just like oh yeah since you can just do that well i had like i'm not even kidding you like thousands of emails in my in my inbox that were completely unread and i was like when am I going to get to that? When am I going to actually like ease back into this? And this was like a Friday that I came back on too. Cause I, my stupid self was like, yeah, I'll come back on a Friday. Cause Fridays are chill. People are going to leave me alone and I can just like ease back into work. My solution here is I'm hosting a time that you can actually take time off with me next summer, which I'm so excited about. It's going to be an exquisite trip. Like I'm talking like done for you. You just have to show up. Why wouldn't you want to take work off with the anti-work girl boss? Like that's a no-brainer. It's going to be so much lazy girl stuff, right? Like we're, we're going to make this very restorative, very relaxing. There's going to be a ton of time with me where we can go over like what's actually, actually the problem. Because while getting drunk in Cabo for vacation is super fun, I've done that, love it, doesn't fix the problem. And you come back to work and you're like, wait, I still hate this. Wait, I still don't know what I'm doing with my life. So we actually get to work together and like, okay, is it actually job hopping? Is that what you need to be doing right now? Is it just advocating for more work-life balance right now? Is it some type of internal shift? Is it absolutely nothing to do with work and you just need to go find a hobby? Are you interested in side hustling? Are you interested in a different way out outside of the corporate box? It's gonna be conversations like that with like-minded people and I will be there for you. So stay tuned for more updates. We're doing this next summer. I have my next planning meeting next week and I'm so excited. And Hey, Veronica, have a seat. Okay. So I just wanted to let you know that we weren't able to approve your time off. Oh no, I already booked everything though. Of course you did, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I can't cancel it, so. Well, I don't know what to tell you because we can't approve it. Oh no. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm just gonna take a week and a half off for my mental health. Mm -hmm. It's not vacation. It's for my mental health. I need to be away from this place. Yeah. I... Well, all right. I think you'll be okay without me, Susan. I believe in you. But anyways, yeah, I'll be in Santorini for a week and a half because therapy isn't enough. Okay? <laughs> Santorini should do the trick. Anyways, half off at Starbucks. So I said, let me get two trenches <laughs> to get through the day, right? <laughs> ah! Anyways, thank you, Susan. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. You're the best. Thank you. My mom just texted me talking about uh did you check with your job to see if they're gonna approve you off on these three days because before i booked the flight for a trip we're doing and i'm just like which i didn't but i'm like book the flight you know what i'm saying like i'm put the request in and then she was like you think they're gonna approve it i don't know how you did things when you had a job when you were younger but over here, when I put a request in, it's not actually requesting off. This is what they professionally call it. That is the way of me letting you know that I'm not going to be there on that day. So if they don't approve it, I'm still not going to show up. So book the flight. I'm going to make it to the trip. Like, the job ain't got nothing to do with me being able to get on the flight. You know what I'm saying? So book the trip. The fuck? Most of the younger employees, if you're trying to get any time off from work, they're just letting you know because at the end of the day, it's not like you can stop them from doing it. They're already prepared to, they're just informing you to know that, oh, hey, I'm taking the time off. So why should you, like, I'm not letting you know so you can, I'm not putting a, um, I'm not putting in a request, but it's just informing you so you can be aware that I'm not going to be present because you should you should know and you should not sit down there and be thinking, oh, you have the right to be like, oh, I'm going to accept it or no, I'm going to reject it because they already have their plans ready. Like it's time to go and do whatever you feel like. Okay. I actually do know there are some managers that just do this out of spite like because they just don't like you sometimes they could just bring their personal feelings into the whole situation some are just so mean and wicked and very devilish that they do not want some people to just have a break off of work and they'll be like hey like i'm not gonna i just denied you for, um, taking the time off from work 
and like why would you do that though and the crazy thing is i fi- i feel like it's like you're offended like the most offensive one is the one where i'm trying to take a time off of work for like um maybe i'm asking you i'm t- putting in the request maybe possibly months before that time could be four months could be three months and you're still denying it like that it's that that's just the you know i don't know that's the height of it entirely because at this point i I feel like you definitely have something against the person because you will why would you even do that to someone and it's like they did they didn't just ask you and be like hey you know i'm taking this time off they're not telling you just maybe if you're giving you a short notice no they're giving you a long notice so you can know and in most instances these people already have a plan that they are you know taking this time off is rightfully what they are supposed to do please make sure you click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here clicking the like button really helps with the algorithm and i appreciate that so much much